Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will look at the application that we are going to build throughout this course. Similarly, we will also cover the features of ChatGPT and Dolly using that application. So let's start. So we are going to build this beautiful chatbot application throughout this course. And in this application, we can simply write our questions or ask them using voice control. So let's write a simple question. How does a telescope works? After that, click on the send button. And there you can see we got the results. So after getting these results, you can also copy them by long pressing on the message itself. Similarly, instead of writing questions, you can also ask questions using text to speech. And after that, instead of reading answers, you can also hear the response. So let's firstly enable text to speech by clicking on the button at the top right corner of our application. And now let's ask a question by clicking on this mic button. Who was the President of United States in 1955? Dwight D. Eisenhower was the President of the United States in 1955. So there you can see we can hear the results. So inside our application we will implement a complete system where you can interact with chatbot using voice commands. So after simple question and answers, let's generate images inside our application using the Dolly model. So with the help of this model, we can generate images by providing description of image in natural language. So let's generate an image by saying, generate image of a teddy bear on a skateboard in Times Squares. And there you can see we got this beautiful picture here. Similarly, let's generate another image by saying, generate image of a white fur monster standing in a purple room. And there you can see we got this image here. Similarly, you can generate any type of image by providing the details in the form of simple text. ChatGPT can also help students in their learning process. So suppose you are writing an essay about Nikola Tesla and his contributions to technology. Then using ChatGPT, you can create outline for the essay or even the entire essay. So let's give it a try by saying, create an outline for an essay about Nikola Tesla and his contributions to technology. And there you can see it generated this outline for us. Similarly, we can generate entire essay by saying, write an essay about Nikola Tesla and his contributions to technology. And there you can see it generated entire essay for us. Similarly, let's ask, what are the five key points I should know when studying about ancient Rome? And there you can see we got these points here. So apart from its educational use cases, ChatGPT can also help professionals in their day-to-day -day tasks. Like it can compose emails, write creative ads, generate interview questions, and perform other such things. So let's give it a try by saying, compose an email for congratulating my coworker on the birth of his son. And there you can see it generated this professional email for us. Similarly, let's generate an SEO friendly content for a Facebook ad. So we will say, write a creative ad for the following product to run on Facebook. And the product is hand wash. And there you can see it created this ad for us. And when you will read this content, you will get to know that how effective content chat GTP can produce. Using ChatGTP, we can also perform number of programming related tasks. Like we can generate SQL queries by saying, create an SQL request to find all users who live in California and have our thousand credits. And there you can see it converted our text into an SQL query. Similarly, it can write entire functions in multiple programming languages. So let's give it a try by saying, write a function to find minimum value of an array in Java. 
and there you can see it generated this function for us. Similarly, if you want the explanation for a piece of code, then you can also pass it here and it will gonna explain the purpose of that code. So let's give it a try. And there you can see it generated the explanation for this code. Similarly, we can also convert the code of one programming language into another. Like we will convert this function into Python language by passing translate this Java code into Python. And there you can see it created the Python version for this particular function. So during this lecture, we have covered just few features of ChatGPT, but in actual, it is much more powerful and we are going to use that power in Flutter for building chatbots for Android and iOS. So let's start.